theme for this evening for today will be our roots run deep. I need everybody to say it. Our roots run deep. Our roots run deep. Say it one more time. Our roots run deep. Our roots run deep. Let's think about it because you have. What's so special about this thing here today is you have young people from all across the country. Me, myself, I flew from Kentucky. We got people from Illinois. We got people from New York. We got people from everywhere came to this place for you. Woo! Now, That's what I'm talking now these seeds, these seeds of hope, when it comes to conservation cords, when it comes to youth bill, there has been seeds of hope that has been planted all across this country. And our roots, our roots run very deep. And hopefully by the end of the day today, you know just how deep those roots run. My name is Lakeisha, I'm from San Jose. The seed I would like to plant is growth and opportunity for my children and for the children around the world because it's our future. My name is Jenny Macias. I'm from San Jose, California, and the seed that I want to plant is to end the rising prices of housing. It's really, why? It's because it's really hard to live off minimum wage out here. The rent is just constantly increasing. Rent one month could change to the next month. And there's a lot of homeless people on the streets due to the rising prices of housing. Uh, my name is Ramon. I'm from San Jose, California, and uh, the seed I like to plant is to end poverty because honestly no one deserves to live like that. Everyone deserves to have a hot meal and a place to stay every night. Thank you. I'm Sarah Buso. I'm from Venice, California. And the seed I would plant is resilience because if you give up too soon, you'll never know your full potential. I'm Alex Lay and I'm from Grass Valley, California. And the seed that I'd like to plant is equal opportunity because everyone deserves a chance to succeed. Hello, my name is Jocelyn Campos. I'm from Englewood, California, and I would like to plant the seed of hope because if we don't have hope, then no one's going to try to uh, make a difference and it's going to be like, what for? Hi, my name is Henry Vega, and I'm from San Jose, California, born and raised. And one seed I would like to plant is to stop racial profiling because that is one very big problem in our community and across the country. And it's the one problem we need to fix and soon because it really it, it stops jobs, school, education, and a lot of ju ju um, ju judicial systems. And it really, it isn't, it's not something that we should have in our lifestyle anymore. Hi, my name is Tiffany Boone, and I'm from Elizabeth City, North Carolina. And one seed that I would like to plant is a seed to change the way that young people are viewed. Um, we're viewed all differently, mainly as the messed up group, I guess that's what people would call us. Um, I would like to change that and maybe make a difference in how the older generation thinks about us and maybe don't think of, think of us more so as thugs and everything like that because we've got tattoos and piercings and you know, all different things like that. Let's see that I would want to plant. Hi y'all, my name is Curtis and I'm from Brockton, Massachusetts. I think if there was one one seed that I can plant in this world um, that would better my community, it would be lens. And I say this because um, I've always worked with younger people, I've always worked with children, and I've always seen the better in them. Um, even a, as young as two years old, you know, um, people always saying that two-year-olds are, you know, they're crazy and they're making mistakes and they do a lot. Um, and really, we just need patient people that are going to work with them, have patience for them, listen to them, and really, as far as the lens go, just seeing the good that they can do and that they can bring to the community and uplifting those young people and you know, allowing them to, to shine and be in their support system so that we can give them the space and opportunity and the room to grow after they've been you know, planted. So um, that's mine. Hey y'all, uh, my name is Nico Salas. I'm from Los Angeles, California. Um, if I had a chance to plant any seed that could grow anything, it would be uh, the seed of love. I believe that a lot of people are looking for this in their life. A lot of people lack it. 
Um, I myself was somebody that was constantly looking for that love in all the wrong places and it got me into a lot of trouble. Um, it helped me grow to make those mistakes, but I, I still, even today, I still feel like uh, there's still some of it that I need. And I know for a fact that um, people out there still need love and um, I try to be loving as much as I can to spread that m on my own time and by myself, but we can have a tree that, that could grow it. I'm pretty sure that it would help our communities a lot because there's so many young people out there that don't feel that love, that lack it, that do the same thing that I used to do, which is find different outlets, and they may not always be the healthiest ones. Uh, so definitely love would be what I would want to grow. My name is Leslie Jimenez. I'm from Los Angeles, and the seed I would like to plant is understanding. I think this world will need a better understanding of each other, our problems, and ourselves as well. I feel that we go on sometimes not knowing what the other person is dealing with or what the situation is, and we just get a misconception of it. So mostly let people have a better understanding of what they feel, what they like, what they dislike. So maybe that would be a better for the world. My name is Stephen Morris, I'm from Bogalusa, Louisiana, and um, one seed I would like to plant in this world is love, because right now there's a lot of hate going on with racial crimes, immigrants, and things like that, and you know, everybody just need to learn to love each other and respect each other, because at these times, you know, it's hard to stay together when everybody's hating each other, you know, so if we all learn to love each other and give each other a chance to, you know, manifest, you know, maybe it'll be a different world. Maybe the views and things that you see for our future may happen. Yeah. Hi, my name is Cassandra Michelle and I'm from Youth for San Jose. Um, and the, the seed that I want to plant is women empowerment. I want to make sure that the women around me feel empowered and they create change. And they become like um, straightforward uh, role models for all women in my community because I feel like growing up I didn't have that many positive women role models in my life and if I could plant that seed I, I know that there will be great women leaders for my children and their children in the future. Hi my name is Susanna. Um, if I could plant any seed my seed would be of respect. Um, respect is very important and it will get you through life. Hi I'm Lydia from Marysville, California. Hi I'm Brianna from Marysville and Yuba City as well. Um, if I was to plant a seed and watch it and want it to grow, I would want it to be to end hatred. And in order for that to happen, that would actually have to happen in individual homes and what people are teaching their kids. Um, in this world, I feel there's a lot of hatred. A lot of people judge judge people either it's based on political views, colors, um, where you're from. Instead of, and I think instead of people being so judgmental, we should get to know each other and embrace one another and learn from one another. I can learn so much from a different culture as to where they can learn from my culture. And I think that if we was to end hatred, we could actually unite as people. Um, if I were to plant a seed, um, in this world, it would be to end ignorance and it kind of piggybacks off of Lydia's seed. Um, if you're blinded by ignorance, you, you don't have the power to obtain knowledge. So you can't open your mind to, to see past things, like knowing that being judgmental is just a first instinct as a human being and being able to see past your judgments and, and look at other people. For, for the good or being open-minded and not judging them but maybe thinking or processing their opinions, their beliefs, how they feel about things and I think people hold on to their judgments rather than being able to look past them when they're blinded by ignorance and you don't know knowledge is power, you're not enlightened to, to the further reaches of your mind when, when there's ignorance. Alright, what's up? I'm Trevor Easley and, and I'm from Columbus, Ohio. If I had the opportunity to plant a seed to grow a tree, it would be a dual tree. It would be a motivation tree and an inspiration tree. Because a lot of times in my community, there's not a lot of motivation. There's not a lot of inspiration to do great things. So if you could just sit up under that tree and wait for that motivation apple or that inspiration orange to fall right into your lap, that's what kind of tree I will make. And that's what kind of tree I will have grow.
and flourish all over the world. Let's go. Hey. I'm Delano Johnson. I'm from Detroit. If I had an opportunity to plant a seed, it would probably be an opportunity tree in the neighborhood that I come from because there is a huge gap in opportunities from like rich families and poor families and people don't have opportunities. It's not about money all the time. It's about the opportunity to have access to the same spaces, to the same opportunities, to try to build some equity in the neighborhoods because statistics show that if you come from a middle class white family and a poor black family, like the opportunities that are available to you on this side are just way higher than they are on this side. And that shouldn't be the case if we pride ourselves on being a country that is based on equality and opportunity. This is supposed to be the land of the free and opportunity is the power to set people free.